At Jim Noble's King's Kitchen Restaurant in downtown Charlotte, the featured item is Aunt Butte's pan-fried chicken. I will say it's the best pan-fried because really most people don't pan-fry. It's too much trouble, but I think it's some of the best chicken in the Southeast. Nothing tricky about it, just engineered to let the taste of the chicken come through. All we use is flour, salt, and pepper, and uh, we'll have the chicken and buttermilk, and then we'll shake off the excess buttermilk, and then just dust it in flour, and then pan fry it. That's it. It's real simple. Simple is the whole idea here, and at all the other restaurants that Jim Noble has operated over the years. We're not trying to be haute cuisine, and we're trying to be sort of uh, just middle of the road, not very expensive at nighttime, and, uh, and lunch, actually. Noble has had numerous restaurants, and at the present time has a stable of three. Winston-Salem, it's Noble's Grill, Rooster's Woodfire Kitchen here in Charlotte, and then the King's Kitchen, which is, uh, this is a not-for-profit restaurant. That's right, the King's Kitchen restaurant is not-for-profit. It is owned by the Restoration Word Ministry, founded by Jim Noble and his wife. Technically, I don't own it. I'm the uh, steward of it, or the ma manager of it, but it's a, uh, it's a ministry, so we don't own those. Ministering to others has been a part of Noble's life for some time, and he knew that he could use his restaurants to help. We did an outreach called The King's Table, where we would, from the restaurants, partnering with our ministry, we'd try to help feed the poor. And then it came to a place that we realized as we kept progressing that we probably needed to do a restaurant that would be open to the public uh, it would feel just like a regular restaurant, but all the proceeds, because it's a ministry, all the profits would go to feed the poor. And I won't stop till the good Lord lets me in. The King's Kitchen opened in early 2010. As is the case with many restaurants when they get started, it takes time to generate cash flow. The first year that we were open, on paper, we lost money, but we were able to give about 50 or what, 50,000 away, which is wonderful. Restaurant business is tough anyway. Just to make it in restaurants hard, but then to add this to it makes it a little bit more difficult. The difficult element that has been added is the King's Kitchen Restoration Program. That's in place to take the idea of helping the homeless and the troubled one step farther. We want to feed them to get them here, but we really want to take people a step further and teach them how to be self-sustaining and then disciple them to turn around and do the same thing with other people. It hasn't happened yet, but eventually the goal is to have the staff comprise primarily of those who have made a commitment to turning their lives around. Originally I thought I would open the restaurant with the program in full force, but that would have been disastrous because I really need to get the restaurant up and running. Here's the reason why. Um, if it's a restaurant, it's a not-for-profit, and everybody likes a mission, that's nice, and everybody will come. But if you don't execute well, and you're not, you don't do good food, you don't do service properly, they won't come back. They'll tell you how much they like it, and how much they appreciate what you're doing. But unless you execute from a restaurant's perspective, it's going to fail. A handful of individuals have begun taking their journey in the four-step program, but eventually, Noble would like to see a dozen participants at any one time. Someone's going to have to want to go through this program to do it. I don't want to just give. I don't want somebody to go through the program because they just want a job. They want a life change first. In the meantime, we'll train you how to do it, a job. If a person is dedicated, though, and truly committed to a better life, Noble maintains that it is within reach. This is sort of uh, our motto: if you can change the way a man sees himself, you can probably change his whole life forever. The King's Kitchen has the potential to be a key component in helping people change customers, there are signs that this is not a typical place to dine. Portraits of homeless people decorate the walls. These were photos of people in North Carolina that were, by their consent, were taking pictures of and we framed them and put them up. It was just kind of a cool thing, I thought. There is also a verse of scripture over the entrance to the place. That verse is from Proverbs that says, he that feeds the poor lends to the Lord and that he will repay. And it really has to do with the fact because we'll make an appeal when everybody gets a check. It says if you'd like to help feed the poor, you can just, you can just at least add some money to your, your check. Jim Noble is convinced that ordinary people can do things that result in the complete transformation of other individuals and of the country as a whole. I think if every church and every ministry in this nation would, would take their fair share in it, 
we can eliminate the homeless problem ourselves. That's one reason he is very public with the work that he is doing through the King's Kitchen. The first time we did an event, I didn't want anybody to know we were doing it. I didn't want to do a press release, but I was convinced by the High Point Community uh, Foundation to do that. If he and his restaurant can inspire others, the impact can be even greater and more far-reaching. And what you do for the kingdom, uh, I think it's okay for people to see that because it inspires them to do something else. People want to help, they just don't sometimes don't know how. So I think it's good to let people know what you're doing from that perspective, not, not for your own glory, but just because people want to get involved.